If you're looking for a career that is pretty much future proof against things like AI, then you could do a lot worse than go into nursing. Yes, nursing. Why? Because there's an aging population. We'll always need nurses. And in addition to that, there is a global shortage of nurses, according to the WHO. So I'm going to show you a screen now, which will illustrate that the level of uh, nursing shortages that there are in, in the world right now. And I've been involved in uh, nursing recruitment since around 2000. And it's always been, there's always been a shortage, but I don't think it's ever been this bad. Now it says here that the, the, the World Health Organization or the WHO, uh, not the group, but the WHO identifies global nursing shortages of 6 million. 6 million shortages, 6 million people nurses are needed globally. Now, most of those would be needed, of course, in Western countries where people seem to have a reluctance to, to get into nursing uh, for whatever reason. Uh, but, but I think it's a tremendous career uh, because not only have you got a pretty good secure career and a secure job, you're doing something that uh, you're, you're helping people, you're giving back to people. Uh, you've got numerous opportunities, multiple opportunities for uh, promotion and career variation. And also you can travel. Uh, there was a time when... To, in order for people to see the world, they would join the Navy or you know, this is before students went backpacking, but they join the Navy or join the Army or the Air Force to see the world. Now you can do it as a nurse because your skills are very much transferable. And if you get an examination like the NCLEX, which uh, is, is uh, needed for Canada and Austria, and I think New Zealand as well, then you've got a, you've got a tremendous opportunity. You can very easily transfer between those countries. So if you want to see the world, uh, you know, great. But if you want to settle in the country, then a country like Canada offers a very easy route to, to permanent residence and citizenship, much faster than in the UK, where you need five years before you can even apply for permanent residency. So in addition to that, um, I, I just think, you know, nursing is a well-paid job. It's seen sometimes in, in countries like the UK as a low-paid job, but it's not actually a low-paid job. And yet, Nurses are leaving the UK to go and work in countries like Canada and Australia, where they're paid even more. And in, in, in America as well, it's, you know, the American dream has traditionally been a place where uh, people would head to. Yeah, of course, you know, in most states, you will get paid quite a lot of money and there's there's lots of career opportunities. But what I want to tell you about today is, a, is an opportunity to go and work in Canada if you're already a graduate nurse and you're working as a nurse in your own country. And this could be uh, you're in the Philippines, where there's a, a, usually a, a glut of nurses, African countries, um, you know, West African countries, Cameroon, Nigeria, or, or Zambia on the other side, uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, wherever, India, wherever you are, um, this, this program could suit you. And I want to tell you a bit about it. I've put some details on my, my blog, Immigration Matters. Um, and, and this is about becoming a nurse in Canada, what you would need to become a nurse in Canada, a step-by-step -step process, right? Uh, an initial assessment, uh, English language proficiency, which can be IELTS or CELBAN, uh, registration with the College of Nurses in, in that particular state. In this, this example, I've given Ontario. Competency assessment uh, to ensure that you have the knowledge, skills, and judgment required to practice uh, safely and effectively. This is pretty much standard stuff uh, for, for most countries, I think. Uh, depending on the assessment results, you may need additional training. Then there'll be a registration exam. You have to also complete the registration exam approved by the CNO for the type of nursing RN or RPN you want to practice. Then there's a jurisprudence exam, which is designed to ensure that nurses understand their legal and ethical obligations, that they're able to apply the knowledge they, they practice. Now, that might sound a bit daunting if you're a nurse you know, currently in 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 a in another country, completely different setup. So a new program has been launched to help graduate nurses, nurses who are already uh, graduates and already working, to to get into a program which will bridge that gap between where you are now and where you want to be, which is ultimately in a country like Canada, which pays well, has good health care, long term security for you and your family. And it's just a great place to live. It's got a, a good economy. They've got, you know, they're, they're a pretty good country. People from the UK are going there as well. And so if you, if you are seeking an opportunity like 
Canada, you want to work in Canada, then a, new, a prominent institution has launched an innovative program designed to bridge that gap to, to get you into nursing in Canada and ultimately to, to give you a, an opportunity to settle in Canada, permanent residency and, and uh, get the citizenship and the Canadian passport as well. So look, how does it work? How do you unlock your dream of, of nursing in Canada? Well, the demand for nurses, uh, as I said, there's a shortage all over the world, but it continues to surge in Canada and the United uh, States. And it's become challenging for nurses from abroad to meet the stringent prerequisites. There's lots of uh, uh, job opportunities and vacancies, but filling them is another matter. So this course will empower, uh, you know, for instance, nurses from Phil Philippines, Vietnam or Africa by offering them a, a com comprehensive route to achieving the Canadian uh, nursing aspirations. And your nurse, you know, your nursing skills are transferable, but you need to fit into a new system. So this program provides you with an opportunity to make that transition from, say, nursing in the Philippines or Vietnam or Africa into the Canadian system and, and then give you uh, a job and the possibility of a permanent permanent residence and a pathway to Canadian citizenship. Now, interestingly enough, this is not only a, a course, it's not only a student course, but it, it is uh, an opportunity to earn while you learn. So there's a guaranteed 500 hours of paid work experience that goes along with this course. So you'll be working as a, a healthcare assistant in, in a hospital, which could ultimately become your employer for obvious reasons. Why would they not want to employ you if you get through the NCLEX, you get through the, the exams, et cetera, and you're ready to roll? Why would they not want to employ you? So that's the scheme. It's a student visa scheme uh, to, for, for nurses with two years experience and IELTS level of six or 6.5. And it will transition you into to nursing in Canada. Now, this, what are the salaries paid in Canada? Well, uh, Canada is um, a pretty good place for uh, salaries, actually. The, the typical salaries in Canada range anywhere between 60 and 100,000 Canadian dollars. Uh, the average RN in Canada earns $80,000, uh, according to jobbank.gr.ca. And nursing practitioners can often earn in excess of 100,000 Canadian dollars due to their advanced uh, roles as you as you move up the ladder. And there'll be plenty of opportunity for that. Now, this course is based in the vibrant city of Toronto, which is a very cosmopolitan. It's the, the financial centre of Canada, a buzzing place and uh, you know not far from the, the US border. And the course works like this. You have a pathway to Canadian nursing. The programme is specifically designed to, to give you that, that pathway in, into Canada. Uh, so moving you from where you are now to where you want to be. And it offers a clear route to Canadian nursing registration. And, uh, you know, once you've successfully pleased, completed the NCLEX exam and permanent residency in Canada, uh, the, the curriculum prepares you and, as a student for the NCLEX examination, provides you with the understanding of the Canadian nursing system. Bear in mind, you'll be working at the same time. Uh, so the opportunities to work will, will, can earn you up to 20,000 Canadian dollars. Um, and it, it, it's a great scheme. It, it, it will get you there within 12 to 18 months, depending on your prior experience or IELTS efficiency. So what do you need? OK, uh, we need IELTS 6 or 6.5. You need two years experience in your own country. You need a degree or a diploma in, in nursing. OK, now, what are the costs here? Well, the, the, to invest in your future, there are costs, obviously, because the, the, the college is providing you with a course and helping you get there. Uh, so the 12 month course is 16,500 Canadian dollars and the 18 month course is just over 21,000 Canadian dollars. And the requirements for the enrollment, as I said, is a, a nursing degree or diploma from your own country, a minimum of two years working experience as a nurse and the IELTS score of either six or 6.5. OK, so look, it's a great scheme. Um, we will also help you get through that process help you apply for your visa uh, you will need to show the the canadian embassy that you have the fees to pay for the course and three months living expenses you can take your dependent and your dependent can work full time um, you're allowed to work 20 hours a week whilst you're on, on in term time and full time out of term so it's a great opportunity if you're interested if you're ready to to make that leap into canada 
uh, email me at uh, info at university, sorry, UK university services.com.